Well, hey, fish heads, Jen Crevasse, Jekyll Bates, and what a weekend it was. <laughs> wow. So many of you know I live in Arkansas. Specifically, I live in Jonesboro, Arkansas. Today is March 30th, 2020, and this is your Jekyll Bates Workshop Update. It's really good to see you guys again. All of you guys are smiling and happy, and I'm happy because I'm alive. Tornado missed my house. It was Go watch that video if you haven't seen it. It was pretty wild. Courtesy to Scott Lawrence in Jonesboro and uh, some of the chaser guys for the footage. I shot footage around the house, but literally we sheltered in place in, uh, in my laundry room because that's the only interior safe spot that we've got. So enough about that. It started out a really great weekend, you guys, and you're gonna see that video. I got to hang out with my buddy CJ on Friday and uh, then we went up to favorite fishing up in Thayer and hung out with Nathan. And Nathan's like, let's get on, let's get on the boat and go have some fun and go fishing. We went fishing. That video is going to be coming out. So a big shout out to Nathan and the favorite fishing fam up in Thayer, Missouri. Favorite fishing is the future of fishing. Great weekend. Caught crappie, caught white bass, caught uh, black bass, you name it. It was fun. And it was a beautiful day to be out. So that was Friday. Saturday started out good. Saturday ended with no loss of life. And it's a miracle. And I've talked about it on Facebook, but I will say again, in a weird way, the COVID-19 guidelines and the shelter in place and all of the self-isolating, self-quarantining and social distancing kept everybody in Jonesboro alive through an EF2, which quickly turned into an EF3 tornado. Wow. Wow. Um, pretty amazing. Minor, minor injuries, no fatality casualties. So thanks to the Lord above and thanks to the good people of Jonesboro and the outpouring of support that came in within minutes from all over multiple counties responded multiple first responders jonesboro police department the city administrators um, council and and just everybody an outpouring of love and support i'm really excited to talk about these baits um this one right here will start out this is for judd um, this is my pattern he asked for this splatter back to be duplicated and copied in the splatterback pattern and i was able to do that for him so also on this shout out to russ allen um, i have a series of stencils for him that are shapes and different things that can you can put gill plates and those little cute red slashes on there so uh, russ allen at insane custom stencils um, thank you for the very cool stencils that i got a couple of months ago from you he also asked, uh, he's like, please be sure not to um, get paint or clear coat in the tail. I have to reassemble it. So that's how we did that. We just added the uh, picture hanging wire and we'll pull that out now that everything's dry. This has got three coats on it. And then this is not my pattern. This is not my design. This is a beautiful design. I'm not exactly sure whose design this is, but it's gorgeous. So again, there's a lot of really good painters out there. I'll feature you if I know your name. Um, I know that uh, he was getting the bait from Levi, if that's who painted it. But again, I'm not sure. I don't want to be saying stuff that I don't know what I'm talking about. But my job in all of this was to provide extra clear coats. So we did uh, 2x clear coat on this um, two times. And we are ready to go. This thing looks beautiful. Uh, awesome pattern. So Levi, if you did paint this, phenomenal work love seeing your work i love seeing other people's work close up it's it's all about community for me and uh, trying to get as many people exposed to this as possible there are really some amazing something i don't know if the camera is going to be able to pick this up or not or if you guys can even see this um this iridescent paint that's on its throat and throughout kind of sprinkled throughout the bait it's color changing it's it's gorgeous it absolutely mimics a pattern that you would see in real life this is a great gill pattern so hats off to the designer and painter of this bait i've got a few of these to show you 
I, f- I swam one of these Friday on Lake Norfolk, which is the twin lake to Bull Shoals, awesome. if you guys are this not familiar awesome. with the northern central Arkansas yeah, area. Yeah. Um, with Nathan. And this These guys go subsurface. Uh, I'll, the video for that will be available. Uh, this I'm going to try and get it edited and uploaded this week. There's a lot going on this week. But these little knuckleheads are great swimmers. And when you throw these tails on them, which is what is going to happen with these four. They're just going to be great. Uh, two of these are spoken for. Two of these I will be selling this week. This is another flat side, fat bellied lipless. This is in a very cool red craw spring pattern. This is also going to be up for grabs this week. And this is going to be, I think I'm going to auction this one. Uh, this is just a really cool plain Jane, but look at the really cool eyes. These are custom eyes from John over at Jets and Lures and Jets and Lure Eyes. This is that reverse shad pattern. Great for stained water. This is a fluorescent glow paint. So it will uh, it'll really light up. It's good for dark water situations, low lighting conditions. And I believe that these are glow-in-the-dark eyes that I'm using as well. I'd have to go back and look at his. Uh, I've got a bunch of his eyes in there. But he gave me a bunch of glow-in-the-dark eyes, which is also cool. So we'll have to. I'll have to see if that's uh, if that's what this is. Again, I'm not sure, and I want to get through this video with all the lights on. So, and then this is that uh, that duo pressing. This is the shallow version of this. In the mid south crawl. That's what I've got for you guys this morning. There's a lot going on. Um, check out my Facebook page if you guys are interested in learning how to donate and what the, what the city of Jonesboro needs. Of course, there are still cleanup procedures in progress in Nashville for the Nashville Strong Tornado. And it's tomorrow, I think, is the first day of the three-month period where we all just kind of hold our breath because the weather conditions get really, really crazy down here in the Mid-South and in Tornado Alley. So um, thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your well wishes. The outpouring and response has been outstanding and second to none. You guys are world-class people. Um, I love all my subscribers. I love all you guys very, very much. And I am grateful to be talking to you this morning. So you guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks for the view. I appreciate it. It's always good company. It's great to see your smiling faces and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Bates.